Hi, welcome back. Uh, as I promised when we were looking at math formatting, uh, I said I was going to do a separate one where we looked at labels uh, and label formatting. So we're going to kind of look at labels and what they are, label styles and what they mean and how we can use them, uh, but also then how we can adjust their formatting uh, uh, as we were adjusting math formatting. So uh, we have a, a calculation sheet open. And the first thing I want to do is I'm going to pop open this section and we're going to look at the different label styles that exist. Now, where do we find these? So if we go to the math tab and we come over here, we see this innocuous little uh, drop down box, which has the labels and you'll see that they kind of match up other than the automatic one uh, to the labels that I have down here. So let's look at them and see what they are now that we know where we can change them. So the first one that you're typically that, that you're probably the most used uh, to is variables. And, and so whenever we type in a, a variable, we say, you know, F equals uh, F at T equals, these are uh, the variables uh, label uh, that is determined as, you know, it, MathKit kind of assumes that's what, that's what you want to use. Uh, and it's going to apply the variable label and it's going to look like that. Now, of course, we'll, we'll talk about formatting later. If we want to change the formatting, that's certainly possible. Uh, but right now, let's just look at what the variable means. And so MathCAD will interpret that as a variable. Okay, and as long as you meant it to be a variable, that's great. So the next one down that we use quite a bit, and certainly I <laughs> use a lot, and I encourage you to, to build units into your MathCAD calculations. It's one of the huge uh, benefits of MathCAD over something, say, like Excel. Uh, and so we see that it is formatted slightly differently. So we have a kilogram here, and we see it's kind of bold, and it's uh, kind of a blue color. And so that is the default formatting that MathCAD uh, applies to anything that it sees as a unit variable. I mean, we could change it. We could make it look just like the variable, but then we wouldn't be able to visually di discern what labels um, MathCAD was applying to it. And then we go down uh, sort of functions, systems, and keywords. Uh, I, I kind of lump them all together. I, I know the, to the programmers that it probably matters that they're, they're slightly different. Uh, you see they all look uh, somewhat uh, the same. They're no, not italicized anymore. Uh, one is capitalized and um, uh, bold. The other one's just bold. Uh, but they all kind of look the same and they all function the same. It's hard for me to imagine where I might... Uh, uh, misinterpret a function, a system, or a keyword, or really care that <laughs> uh, one was the other. But anyway, uh, you can certainly tell if you're trying to put in a function and it thinks it's a variable because it's italicized or not italicized, and that becomes important. And, and then the final, finally, the one I wanted to talk about was constants. And so there are some known constants uh, that are uh, use, you know, pi and e and, and, you know, other values where those are programmed into uh, MathCAD. And so it's important to understand that it's not treating it like a variable, it's treating it as the constant and assigning that value to it. And so we see pi there. And so in this case, by default, it's using bold green to discern a constant. Now, you know, just uh, as an uh, example of where we're going, you know, MathCAD will interpret something and then we're going to have to make sure that it's interpreting it correctly. Uh, so we've got a little problem set up here. We say A equals 5, B equals 7, C equals 15. And what I want to do is I want to use the built-in function to come up with the mean. So let's do that. And so I'm going to use mu. So I'm going to go M, control G to turn it into Greek. Uh, we set it up as define and then we're going to use mean. and I can go get that function uh, from up in the box, uh, but I know how you know uh, how it's spelt and everything else, so I can just type it in, uh, and then go brackets, and we can go A B C. Now, right now, just looking at it, it thinks that mean is a variable, but because of the nature of the syntax of how this uh, is laid out, I know that when I hit equals it's going to realize its mistake and change mean into a function, which then allows it to operate 
the way the function uh, would be expected. So we have a, or sorry, I should hit the equal sign so we can see the value and we see that this is actually working as a function now. Now, if I were to look at my sheet and I would see this is italicized, this is where those different visual cues can be helpful because I would know that the reason why it wasn't working correctly was because it had the wrong style label assigned to it. And we'll see that some more. So let me pop open the next section. I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So I'm going to scroll this up. Actually, I'm going to keep everything visible uh, from there because uh, you, you'll see how it affects different things as we go up and down. Uh, so it is possible to use the same letter to refer to both a variable and, say, a unit, right? A, a different label. And so by looking down here, what we have, so we have mass and acceleration and, of course, a calculation of the force based on Newton's law. Uh, so if we look at acceleration and we see over here we have m divided by second squared, because we know m is 10 kilograms over here, but m here is supposed to be a unit, it's supposed to be meters. And uh, of course, if, if that wasn't the big giveaway that this is not blue and bold, then down here we see that the calculation's all messed up because you know this is not in the units of force, right? And need, uh, need to fix it up. So the easiest thing to do is when you see something like that, we click in beside it, we go up to our math, go over to labels, and in this case, we say, oh, you're supposed to be a unit. And we do that, you see it updates the formatting, and now it interprets it as a unit, and our calculation is fixed, and we actually get the right answer. So particularly where you have uh, M as a variable and M being a unit or anything like that, it's really important to make sure that it's being interpreted correctly, otherwise your calculations aren't gonna be uh, right. So the last thing I want to mention is just quickly, you can absolutely change the formatting. And much like we talked about in the math formatting, and I'll put a, a link uh, here or down in the description uh, to that particular video if you didn't happen to see it, uh, you can change the formatting or the default formatting for the uh, label style. And the easiest thing to do is to come in here, we choose that, we go up to math formatting, and we look over at the labels. And now we can choose, say, a different color. Maybe we want all of our units to be red. And so by choosing red, it's going to update it. If we choose something else, let's say we want to have our variables and we decide that we want them bold. Well, now all of our variables are bold, but they're starting to look a lot like functions. So to be fair, I never change the default uh, visuals for um, the different label styles. I'm happy with what's been chosen, but I can appreciate, particularly if you're preparing something, say for publication or that, you need consistency to the documents that are supporting your calculations. And so it may be required for you. I'm quite happy with it, but now you know how to do it if you need to. So let's just uh, change this back. So we're back in units and we want that to be our blue color. Where's our blue color? And what else did we do? Oh, I know what we did. We did our variable and we don't want it bold anymore. And so there you go. We've changed our units back. And you saw how it just, once you change the default, it carries it out on throughout the, uh, uh, the document. So that's it. This is what uh, the label styles are all about. You do have to be aware of them and make sure that you're getting them interpreted correctly because it affects how the calculation is done. And as an aside, if you want to fiddle with the formatting, you know how to do that too. So hopefully that was useful to you and uh, we'll see you at the next uh, tutorial.